Hey friends, welcome back to Waterview Mountain. As you can see, well, maybe you can't see. We are at the mountain. Uh, we're in the camper. We haven't done any camper videos in a long time. We've been so busy with the uh, just work on the mountain, uh, the tiny house, mini cabin, tiny cabin, whatever you want to call it, uh, and in suburbia that we haven't done much at the camper. Um, and we've been pretty lucky so far, knock on wood. We haven't had many uh, mechanical issues until now. Uh, this camper is a 2005 and we had the spigot in the shower is finally gone kaput. So today we're going to replace said shower uh, spigot and uh, hopefully it's not that hard. We'll see. I watched a couple YouTube videos, but you know, most of the time, whatever they're showing is on newer models and it doesn't line up with what we got going on here. So, uh, we're going to crack this thing open, see if we can get it changed out. And, uh, then that way, at least we'll have some running water here in the, in the, uh, camper. So thanks for coming. Thanks for checking us out. As always, we're absolutely blessed to have you along with us and, uh, blessed to be able to do all this stuff and, and, uh, uh, to have such great people on our lives and have you along on that journey with us. So enough of me rambling. Sit back, relax, get yourself something to drink. Let's get to busy. So here's the culprit, right? The hot water just, just snapped off and popped right off. So in theory, we're going to be able to go around to the other side of this wall, take that uh, service hatch off, and there should just be two kind of uh, big ring nuts that are holding this together and then uh, we can replace it. So while we're here, let's just go ahead and take this off and then that's one last thing we got to worry about. And now let's go around to the other side and see what we got going on there. Okay, there you go. Sorry about the light again. I know it's super bright and probably whitewashing me out, but it's all I got right now. So here's that patch, that, that panel. Again, on the other side is the uh, uh, spigot. So Let's unscrew this and see what we got. All right, we got lucky. These just twist off in theory. These twist off, so double. I don't know if, can you appreciate that from there? Let's, let's bring it in closer. So this one unscrews the water from the back and then this unscrews so we can take the spigot out. Well, don't do that. It's lost forever now. this side bada boom bada bing old spigot out I didn't even open this all right here's the new spigot it's not as nice and shiny as that one, but same thing. It's got a little cover on the back. It's got two black little clamps to go on there. And then the connection at the top for the shower. So we're gonna reach around. There you go. Let me grab those other nuts, hold on. All right, there you see. So I got these other nuts started. This is going to tighten these down nice and tight. Make sure this side. Yep. So that little bracket in the back fell right into place. Get those nice and hand tight. And then hook your water back up. 
Well, and now I don't have any power to the cab camp right now because it's, <laughs> it's at the cabin. Um, so we're going to have to test this out later and make sure we don't have any leaks. So I'm going to wait to put this hatch back on. Nah, I'm not. I'm just going to put the hatch back on. Because those are tight as a tick. They're not going to leak. So there you go. It's that simple. Come back over here. Hook our shower back up. go easy breezy lemon squeezy there you go friends pretty straightforward i don't even know if we're going to be able to make it to 10 minutes on this video i might have to shoot some b-roll just so we can make it to 10 10 minutes <laughs> so you can see an ad so i can get paid uh, no i won't do that we'll just see how long it takes but uh i mean that literally took like five minutes so um i got this thing off of amazon i'm just having uh, a heck of a time finding rv parts locally you know, we try to source everything locally that we can, but uh, with RV stuff, it's just not working out. So I got that on Amazon. I want to say it was like 12 bucks. Um, and without that, we couldn't run water in any other part of the camper. Because when we've turned the pump on, water just came shooting out the hot water spigot. So we had to get it changed so we can run the the sink or flush the toilet or do whatever so yeah that's it pretty simple um you know like i always say don't be afraid to try something i mean i've never done this before i just uh knew that thing popped off looked at a couple videos and be like yeah it looks pretty simple and now you see it's pretty simple so trust me if i can do it you can do it too so that's it we're gonna call it a, call it a day from there so thanks for coming thanks for checking us out as always, we're absolutely blessed to have you along with us. Um, thankful that we still have this little camper that we can stay in. Uh, we're real close to getting in the cabin, but uh, still in the camper for now. So, uh, yeah. So, thanks for coming along on this journey. As always, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell icon if you like what we're doing here. And uh, look up this way over here, and uh, we'll post another video. It'll be something that YouTube picks for you, because they know better for what you need than what I do. So, that's what we'll do. So, until next time, thanks for coming, be safe, and God bless.